All right, everybody. So we're going to get into in this next video about uh, notional values. So I just want you guys to understand, you know, when you were trading one contract, it's so simple. How is that possible that you put in people ask, you know, you know, two grand and you could trade a micro contract and you can make 50 buck, 100 buck a day. That's really good percentages. Well, because leverage and we're leveraging with our good faith deposits, our margins that I mentioned in the prior video, that notional value, which is that true value of what that contract is worth. What is that contract worth? When you're trading one contract of the Dow futures, when you're trading one contract of the NASDAQ, uh, micros, let's just talk about micros because then it'll be too scary of large number. If we've gone into the meanies. What is that value? You know, what, what you're trading basically one face value of that market, all the stocks that are entailed in NASDAQ, all the stocks that are entailed in, that are part of the, the S and P 500, you're trading a future contract. You're trading a piece of that pie of all of that big pie. Okay. So we, but we get the price by just doing a simple math. We take the price that the market is currently trading at. Okay. We'll do an example on the screen. And then we just multiply it by the point price. Now, I remember in earlier videos, futures uh, for rookies, I mentioned how do you get the point price, how, what's the tick value and a point price. So, for example, in this example, we will use uh, the micro ES. Okay, MES is the ticker and the notional value. We're looking at a daily chart here. And on the right of your chart, you'll see a price access. On the bottom here, it's not on print. You'll usually see a time access. Like if this was a daily chart, each one of these bars is one day. One day. This is every day of the S&P 500. And you're going to have on the right a price access. And so right now, let's say on Friday session closed, we closed at 39.31. We're going to take that 39.31 and remember the point value that I said each market has a point value. We're going to take the point value of that market. We're just going to multiply them. Okay. So when we multiply 39.31 times, in this case, five bucks a point on a micro ES, that equals 19,655. This is the notional value. You're trading this much of stocks, this much value of that stock market in that micro size, okay, uh, per contract, okay? And if you think that's scary, uh, imagine when we were all doing the meanies before these micros were launched. These micros were not around when I started trading. Uh, we were trading meanies at uh, 10 times this value. So each one contract we trade, we're doing 10 times the point. So it's, you know, 50 bucks a point. We're doing 10 times the notional value. We're trading 190 grand. Uh, with all things being equal today with these numbers of worth of product worth of stock of the stock market just for one single contract so to understand and you can get these micro futures with a you know you know a thousand two thousand dollar account and with a fifty dollar good faith deposit trade one contract and you can make more than what the good faith deposit was in a day of course with everything else being equal your strategy being good and you're winning okay yeah you can also lose that, right? So that's why, you know, understanding margin, understanding leverage of margin, understanding what you are trading, the notional value is very, very, very important for your back subconscious knowledge, okay? And then after that, again, you get into the fun stuff, you get into the strategies, you get into the charts, you get into getting your daily level set up, which we're going to start doing a lot more on this channel. We're going to start doing the daily levels for... um I'm thinking I'm going to just do ES focus and emphasize on that because that's my main primary focus too. It's been bouncing between that and NASDAQ for myself. But we could look at crude oil that way. We could look at whatever. I mean, and you're just going to come in and set up your levels. Anyway, knowing this is just knowing the market you're trading's structure. Okay, what it's all about. And then you're going to learn structure on the technical end. But that's this. this is pretty much just sum it up. All right, in the next video, I'll just go through my screen and I'll go through some of um, my website and I'll show some of my preferred uh, brokers and platforms that I've worked with and I currently still work with. So I'll make my recommendations, uh, show you guys some different ones that I um, don't currently own, but that I kind of have my eye on too, that I see are good candidates out there just to be transparent and show you guys all the other things out there that are available and stuff like that. All right, we'll do that in the next uh, session.